What's up guys? So I'm in my backyard garden right now and I'm about to pick some yellow cauliflower to make some cauliflower pizza cups. These are going to be a perfect appetizer for tomorrow's Super Bowl. So let's go pick this and get into the recipe. So here it is, nice and yellow. So let's go ahead and pick this. So here it is. So we're going to turn this into some mini cauliflower pizza cups. All right guys, so now that I have my cauliflower from the backyard, I'm going to put it in the food processor to mince it up a little bit. If you don't have a food processor, that's okay. You can just use a standard cheese grater. So let's go ahead and put this cauliflower inside the food processor. So just give it a couple chops and you should have a consistency just like this. All right guys, so that comes out to about a little over a cup, about a cup and a half. Ideally you want about two cups, but I'm trying to make this cauliflower pizza strictly using the cauliflower from my backyard garden. So let's get into the rest of this recipe. So now that we have our cauliflower grated, we want to add one egg to it and one cup of Parmesan cheese, also about a teaspoon of dried basil and another teaspoon of garlic powder and mix that all up. We want to get it into one ball so that the dough is nice and even. And don't forget to oil your pan. So obviously this only makes a few cauliflower pizza bites and if you're making it for a group, you're obviously going to need more, about four times or more as much cauliflower. But simply just lay it out on these trays and set it in the oven. So you want to set your oven at 400 degrees Fahrenheit and par-bake the cauliflower pizza bites for about 20 minutes. So now that our cauliflower crust has finished baking, put a little tomato sauce on each one. So as you can see, it is a really simple recipe. I'm just gonna put some fresh basil leaves right on top of the sauce. Then some low moisture mozzarella cheese to go right on top. Then I have some Italian seasoning from Morton and Basket. Just gonna put a little bit of that on each one. Then simply just some crushed red pepper. Completely optional. So now that we added our toppings to our cauliflower pizza, we want to set it back in the oven at 400 degrees for another 10 minutes. All right guys, so here are my gluten-free cauliflower pizza cups. Really easy to do. Again, this cauliflower came right from my garden, but if you guys like this video and you want to check out some other gluten-free recipes, I have a queso video made right on the grill and a pico de gallo recipe. So go check out those videos next. But if you guys like this video and found it helpful in any way, please consider giving it a like and subscribing for more gardening and cooking videos. Thanks for watching.